Well, on your first day in the Scotland Ireland mission, you arrive at the mission home in Edinburgh and you meet the mission president who my, my mission president came in at the exact same time as me. So he was brand new as well, president Brown. And, um, we got to fulfill the, our mission tradition. We go to a place called Arthur's seat, which is in the center of Edinburgh. Um, but we call it Pratt's Hill. That's our name for it. Because when Orson Pratt came over to the UK in the early days of the church, he hiked up on this hill and dedicated Scotland for the preaching of the gospel. And so in you know, similitude to that, we, all of us on our first days, um, get to hike up uh, Arthur's seat and pray and dedicate our, our two years to the Lord. And that was really special for me. Because um, it's beautiful. You can oversee the entirety of the city of Edinburgh and um, just look at the, you know, the people that you'll be teaching and uh, communicate with the Lord. So that was really nice. And then we came home and were assigned our trainers. And uh, I was really excited about that. And um, I w my first area was Dublin. It was a, an area on the, the west side of Dublin um, called Clonsilla. And it takes a long time to get there. We have a really big mission. So the next day after hiking up Arthur's seat and being assigned your trainer was all travel. Uh, we took buses over to Glasgow and then down to the ferry where you ferry over to uh, Belfast in Northern Ireland. Then we took another bus down to Dublin. And, you know, from there, I just, you know, you walked in, you I was with my trainer, just like, you know, I'm, I'm really here. I'm really doing it. And, uh, I, I was, I love the, uh, the travel, you know, obviously because Scotland and Ireland are, you know, beautiful places. So I just got to, got to know my trainer. Okay. On, you know, that first day we just got to talk with all the other elders and sisters that were traveling with me. So that was good. Um, you know, your first week doing missionary work there, you know, you're waking up early every day and you might not be used to it. Um, so it's just, you fill every hour and that's, that's the great thing you're, you're, you're trying to do as much as you can every day. Um, you know, you do, you don't kill any time. And so I, it took me time to get used to that. And in that first week it was really trying to get acclimated. I remember we were, we were challenged by the assistants to invite someone to be baptized in the first three days that we were there. And so that first time I was really excited. Uh, you know, I was ready to, to invite someone to, to follow the example of Christ. And I remember we, we did it at a, a door approach. My, my, my time limit was coming to, to a close and, um, we went and knocked on some doors and a, a man answered and we had a short conversation with him. And, um, I just sort of blurted it out. You know, I said, well, would you, would you want to be baptized? Would you want to follow you know, is the example of Christ to be baptized? And, you know, he, uh, he quickly shot me down from there, but, but nonetheless, I, I felt great about the invitation. It, it was good. I, I was, I was happy to do it.